All things considered, Brockhampton has significantly changed the way that I think hip hop groups should brand themselves. When you look at their photography, when you look at their graphic design, when you listen to their music, all three of these elements are being controlled by a bunch of masterminds. But it's the people behind these three different areas that really make the difference. Collectively, yeah, Brockhampton can storm something up and eventually project their vision. But at the end of the day, whether you're a photographer, whether you're a designer, whether you're a producer, your sole input into the Brockhampton factory is what makes Brockhampton so special and unique. This is why I think Ashlyn Gray is one of the most underrated and honestly one of the most overlooked members in Brockhampton. Ashlyn's role as a photographer should not be overlooked because as most of us know, photography is timeless. So when Ashlyn captures all these moments, then it kind of just, it makes Brockhampton feel more human because you can see what they are like behind the scenes. You can see what they are like at home. So welcome to the video guys and let's go ahead and jump straight into everything that you need to know about Ashlyn Gray. So Ashlyn Gray was born on August 4th, 1995 and his hometown is Glen Rose, Texas. As a brief overview of Ashlyn Gray, initially Ashlyn can come off as a very background and kind of hidden gem of Brockhampton. Part of what has made Brockhampton so successful goes back to what I was saying about branding and their ability to capture timeless moments so perfectly. From their saturation campaign to the bracing feel of post Amir Brockhampton, Ashlyn has envisioned a way for Brockhampton to stand out from the rest and cater a new kind of boy band. And it's crazy to think that Ashlyn as a photographer has really made his mark on the photography world thanks to everything that Brockhampton has done within the last year. To me, his style is very reminiscent of a watercolor suburban daydream. But to go into Ashlyn's background a little bit, he had actually just gotten fired from his job at Walmart when he became acquainted with the members of Brockhampton. He spent some time with them for a few months before he was eventually invited to move in with them at Los Angeles. So Ashlyn really just got to know the group through Kevin Abstract, and at this point it's become a no-brainer that Kevin Abstract's recruiting abilities are what makes Brockhampton's relationship so strong, he is obviously able to sell the Brockhampton vision so well. So really Ashlyn started to work mainly with Kevin Abstract during his American Boy Band campaign, and at that point they had actually met online. In the Nardwar interview, Ashlyn actually claims that all he was doing at one point was he was looking up abstract painters online and by just going to YouTube and literally just typing in abstract, Kevin Abstract came up in the search results. From there, he ended up watching a video of Kevin Abstracts and he was completely just taken away by Kevin's music and at that point, Brockhampton was starting to, you know, form as a group and Ashlyn kind of just saw an opportunity to do something. Kevin ended up loving his work and at that point, Kevin said what he said and was able to convince the man to move out to Los Angeles. Initially, Ashlyn really just had a helping hand in running Brockhampton's Instagram, but eventually they realized that his photography could expand past Instagram and actually started using his photography on album covers, music videos, and not only that, but when it comes to music videos, Ashlyn definitely had kind of like a directing visual eye for making the Brockhampton and music videos look as good as they did. By working behind the scenes, Ashlyn has personally learned a lot about C100 and Alexa cameras, which are like really professional high-end video cameras. And that's all thanks to literally just freelancers that Brockhampton would hire to help out with their music videos. So if that learning approach is starting to sound like somewhat familiar, then it should remind you of Roberto and the role that he served in Brockhampton initially as well. Roberto came in knowing a little bit about like coding and programming and thinking that he was gonna end up becoming a producer, Roberto slowly started to learn more about coding, programming, and running web design. And now Roberto is a full-time web developer for Brockhampton. Through a collective approach and individually, Ashlyn's talent was eventually trained and sharpened through a lot of trial and error, which speaks volumes to Brockhampton's training camp. Seeing as he was just some guy that worked at Walmart at some point and decided to drop everything to trust in these group of guys to take them somewhere it just goes to show that when you have a little bit of faith when you really just work towards something 
then you have people like Ashlyn, you have people like Roberto who are able to adapt so well and make something out of their careers. When it comes to his major inspirations, Ashlyn has actually gone on the record to say that Casey Neistat and Spike Jones are huge influences of his. In the sense that both of these people are very creative and have really just pushed their own vision of creativity on the rest of the internet. So just to show off a little bit more of like Ashlyn's amazing photography, these are some of my favorite photos that Ashlyn has taken. So now through the wildfire radio and probably through working on the best days of our lives, Ashlyn is definitely doing a spectacular job at kind of rebranding Brockhampton's image. Not to say that the old image was bad, but just to kind of show a new phase of Brockhampton. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you personally have like a favorite photo of Ashlyn's that he's had up on Instagram, Tumblr, or the website? And through what you've seen so far, how well do you think Ashlyn will be able to portray the new Best Days of Our Lives album? Let me know down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. And feel free to check out the rest of the video to the guide of Brockhampton. There's plenty of good stuff. And I am actually very surely working on a video for Kevin. But it's just taking me a little bit of time. But I will definitely put that out for y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one.